Gidru 10 is officially released, and the whole world has Windows 10. What do you say when you saw Gidru 10 on Windows 10? <laughs> Let's go. If you've never visited my channel before, then welcome to the squad. My channel has a lot of reverse engineering tutorials, software, and even some Python beginner tutorials that you can follow through. Check out my YouTube channel, like the videos you like, and then comment and subscribe. Today we're looking at Windows 10, but ultimately, Gidra 10 can be installed on any operating system that can run Java, to include Mac OS, Ubuntu, any Linux-based operating system, and all, all of the old Windows if they can install Java. So we are going to be installing Java. We're looking at the, the SRE and the JDK. We're going to be getting both of those off of the Oracle and the Java website, respectfully. And then we're going to be downloading Ghidra 10 off of the NSA's website, ghidrasre.org. And then I am going to provide you a toothless piece of example malware. So we can use that to get an idea of how Ghidra 10 operates in its most basic state. Let's stop talking about it and let's jump in and do it. One thing that I like about Ghidra and Ghidra 10 is that it will tell you when you made a mistake during the installation process. So instead of worrying about downloading Java and the JDK right now, we're just merely going to download and install Ghidra and let it tell us what we need to do next. So let's go ahead and jump into an, a web browser. We're going to go to ghidra-sre.org. Then we're going to download from GitHub. Once you're in here, we're going to go down to where it says Ghidra 10.0 public. We're going to click that. Then we're going to let it download. Uh, it's taking me about seven seconds on this machine. And then once it is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open up the file directory. And then here, we're going to go ahead and extract all. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit extract all. And I'm going to put it in my local C drive. All right, I'm going to click extract. And then we'll continue once it's completely done extracting. Now that it's done extracting, it opened up the file folder for me. If it didn't open the file folder for you, go into your file explorer and click on local disk. I'm going to close out a couple windows that I no longer need. And then I'm going to double click into Ghidra 10. And then we're going to double click on Ghidra Run. It states that Java runtime not found. Please refer to Ghidra's installation guide troubleshooting section. Press any key to continue. All right, so we need to get the Java runtime. Best way to get that is to go to java.com. Make sure you go to java.com and don't let it auto-populate with a different website. So we're going to click on Java Download. Then we're going to click Agree and Start Free Download. All right, we're going to open up the file folder again. We're going to double click and if it asks us if we want to run as administrator, we're going to let it. We're going to click Install. And then while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and close out of more folders that I don't need anymore. I'm going to minimize that one for the time being. Then I'm also going to minimize this as well. Now that we got the Java runtime installed, let's see what new errors Ghidra gives us. I'm going to go ahead and click close here. I'm going to bring back my Ghidra 10 public folder and I'm going to double click on Ghidra run. Now it's asking for a JDK 11. So let's go ahead and get that. We're going to open up our internet browser again. And this time we're going to do a Google search or Bing or Yahoo. But if you do Google, then you'll be right there along with me and you'll be able to see what I see. Then we are going to search for JDK 11. If you type in JDK 11 in Google, it's going to take you right to it. It's going to be one of the first ones. Um, of course, skip over the ones that say ads. Click on this. And then we are going to scroll down until we see Windows 64 installer. 
We're going to select this JDK 11.0.11 .11 Windows X64. We're going to re review and accept the agreement. Then we're going to download. All right, you're going to enter your Oracle account, username, and password. A lot of people have seen this and then believed that Oracle is requiring, requiring a subscription. At this time, and the way that I'm doing it, it does not seem like that is the case. So enter in your username and password here. And now we click sign in, and then you'll notice that on the top right, it's going to populate with the JDK 11.0.11. .11. All right, once we have that, we can pop it open and then double click on it and let it install. I'll go ahead and select yes. And while it installs, I'm going to go ahead and come back to my command prompt that I still had open. I'm going to exit out of it. I'm going to exit out of the downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and minimize my Giger folder. All right. Go ahead and click next on the JDK installation and let it go all the way through. And quickly enough, we are done. So we'll just go ahead and click close. I'm just going to bring back my folder that I had earlier from my Gijra 10. I'm going to double click on Gijra run. And the command prompt disappear. If you wait for just a second, it'll pop up. It popped up in the background for me. Click agree. And we now have Gijra 10 installed. Before we jump in and actually look at maldev.exe to get our hands on Ghidra, let me show you one of the coolest features about Ghidra. So we have the help and the help is a very valuable tool and I suggest you go and look at it. But what I think the most valuable tool is here in the edit folder where it says tool options. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change it from a light theme to a dark theme. So click on that and let's go down here to tool. On here it says uh, docking windows on top. Don't worry about that. Look and feel, we'll worry about that in a second. But on this third one it says use inverted colors. Click on that and hit apply. It's gonna change the look and feel of Ghidra. And then it's also gonna suggest that you use metal for your look and feel. I'm gonna hit yes. With that, we're gonna click okay. We're gonna close all the way out of it. And go back into our Ghidra 10 folder. Double click on the Ghidra run batch file and then let it come back up. And now we have Ghidra in beautiful, beautiful dark mode. Um, you can have uh, tips on startup. They're actually quite handy. I'm going to go ahead and keep it on. In order to reverse engineer with Ghidra, we need something to reverse engineer. So I made a little program called maldev.exe. It is a toothless piece of malware that I use as an example so we can actually take a look at Ghidra. But it is just malicious enough that Windows does not like it, especially Windows 10. So there's a couple things that we need to do to the Windows Defender before we actually download maldev.exe. So let's go ahead and jump into our settings. I'm gonna come down here to the Cortana and or the search button. We are gonna type in Windows Defender settings. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. With that open, we're going to come down here to automatic sample submission. We're going to uncheck that. We're going to keep real time protection on. We're going to keep cloud based protection on. So that way, if any other viruses get outside of our one folder that we are about ready to exclude, then you're still protected. But we do want to exclude the folder that maldev.exe is going to be in. And when we download it, it's obviously going to be in the downloads folder. So we're going to exclude a folder. We're going to make it the downloads folder that we are excluding. Okay. With those settings in place, we can now download maldev.exe. I'm going to close out of this. And then if you go to github.com forward slash striker 2k2, that is S-T-R-Y-K-E-R 2k2, you can download maldev. Sometimes it's here on the popular repositories, but if it's not, click on the repositories tab, scroll down until you find it, Ghidra, reverse, maldev, click on that. And then where it says maldev.exe, click on that as well. And then there's a download selection here, click on that. All right, 
It states that maldev.exe was blocked because it could cause harm to your device. I'm going to go ahead and click on more actions and I'm going to hit keep. And then it's going to give me this. Once again, this app might harm your device. I'm going to go more options, keep anyways. And it is now in the downloads folder in which downloads folder is a excluded folder. So it's not going to erase it. As soon as it gets installed, what I like to do is I like to change the, the .exe portion of the file. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on view here in my, my explorer. I'm going to come over to where it says file name extensions. I'm going to click that, which is going to allow me to see it. So don't double click it because the object here is not to do a dynamic analysis, which is when you run malicious software on your computer, what we're going to do is the dynamic. So we don't want to run it. So we're going to, have to be very careful when we click on things. So I'm going to single click it. And then just to make sure that I don't do anything wrong, I'm going to rename it by using the right click. I'm going to go down to rename. Once it's here, I'm going to rename this .exe. I like doing .xxx. That catches everyone's attention. And it seems that it could be of a very malicious thing. So now if I double click on it, nothing will happen. There we go. So now that we have it downloaded, I'm going to exit out of my internet browser. Then we get to start taking a look at maldev.exe. But one last thing before we do that, whenever I have the malware downloaded off the internet onto my computer, and when I'm ready to do the, the actual reverse engineering, I like to take the security one step further. I like to disable the network adapter. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So down here, I'm going to click on the search icon again. I'm going to type in network and it's going to pop up with network and sharing center. With that up, we're going to go ahead and click on change adapter settings. Then here, ethernet, I'm going to right click and disable. If you're using a virtual machine, you won't see any difference. You won't be able to access the internet anymore but there's nothing different about the machine itself. If it's on your live machine, you might not be able to watch YouTube videos at this time. So make sure you have a secondary computer that you can still continue watching these videos. Um, with that said, maldev.exe doesn't establish any outside network connection. But to be safe, I would go ahead and disable the Ethernet connection anyways. It's going to close everything up. And we are ready to reverse engineer maldev.exe. So we're going to start off by creating a project. Come over here to file, click on new project. We're going to do a non shared project. We're going to click on this next button and we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it maldev and then we're going to hit finish. The folder is there. Now all we need to do is drag the executable into the file folder. So I'm going back to my downloads. I'm going to take maldev.exe, or in this case, .xxx. We're going to drag it in. It automatically detects that it's a portable or executable for a Windows x86 system. I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to go through the, the importing of the file. All right, so I do not have any reason to access the network. So we're going to go ahead and click Cancel here. And then we're going to click OK. What this says is project file name, what type of binary it is, how it's compiled, whether it's little Indian or big Indian, a lot of very useful information here in this window. And then once that is done, we're going to double click on it. The Ghidra Dragon, the Ghidra Hydra is going to come down. And then it's going to ask if we want to analyze it. Let's going to click yes. And then something that I always select is this option right down here called Windows PE x86 propagate external parameters and then analyze. It usually takes Ghidra about 60 seconds to auto analyze maldev.exe. And once it does, you'll see something like this. On the left hand side, we got program trees at the top. We have the symbol trees in the, in the middle left. And then we got data type manager on the bottom left. And the listings, this is where we usually see all the assembly code. And then on the right, we have the decompiler. This is where we're going to see the C language code once it gets decompiled. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this decompiler and I'm going to try to set it right in the center. So now the decompiler and the listings are on top of each other. I like looking at the assembly code, um, but I'm going to be spending most of my time in the decompiler. So let's go ahead and come into the symbol tree again. Let's, let's expand the export folder and go into entry. Once we go into entry, we're going to see that it's going to set the app type. And then here's this function. Let's go ahead and double click into that function. All right, so this right here is pretty much the C runtime of the program. This is where everything is getting set up to run the program. So what we're looking for is a function that has an exit code because the main program of any C usually will return a zero or a one to show that it ran successfully. So we're gonna find something that has an exit code in which here is a value, uh, a variable that is an exit code that it gets from here. So let's double click into here. And now we're starting to see some user created code. Here's some user created code functions. And then maldev.exe allocates a window and it finds, finds a window, it shows the window and a couple other functions afterwards. So this is what we're gonna call the main thread or the main process, main function. So go ahead and right click on it. Let's rename the function. Let's go ahead and call it main. Okay, so we have installed all the requirements for Ghidra. We've done the Java runtime environment, the Java software development kit. We installed Ghidra 10, and then we also installed, or we downloaded Maldev. We modified our machine so it will allow us to download Maldev into the downloads folder. And then we were able to auto-analyze it and then take a look at Maldev and Windows 10 using Ghidra 10. Thank you for joining me in this video in which we installed Ghidra 10 on Windows 10. We went ahead and we downloaded maldev.exe and we took a look at it using Gidra 10. I have a lot of crack me's on my YouTube channel. So if you will actually want to continue on with maldev.exe or any of the crack me challenges, subscribe to the video, find the videos that interest you, like them, and then comment your questions. Thank you all for joining me. And until then, keep reversing.